Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a few different ways in which you can refine your motions to improve the look of your actor's interaction with an MD prop, specifically the turn to stop movement, which includes feet lock, zero tolerance, and blend time settings. Let's look first at foot lock settings with this scene in which I've included four MD props included in the staying at home content pack, suitable for indoor interaction. I'll replace the meshes for the MD prop dummies, which you can learn more about in the Getting Started tutorial for MD props. If we enter pause mode during MD mode playback, I can add a number of consecutive actions to the action list. When I exit pause mode, our actor will complete them in order, and you'll notice some issues with foot twisting. This is due to Motion Director's Lock Feet option, which can conflict with an actor's abrupt change in direction in certain cases. You can find the Lock Feet option in the toolbar, and also in the Simulation section of your MD Controls panel. Let's disable this option and load up another set of actions in the action list. You'll notice less foot twisting with this disabled, however you'll see an increase in foot sliding because the turn to stop movement needs further refinement. Let's take a look at the data settings in the MD Behavior panel with our Look Outside MD Prop selected. Let's make sure that we have the appropriate IMD selected, and then focus on the zero tolerance parameter, where a lower value creates more interaction accuracy, and a higher value will give your actor a bit more movement freedom when interacting with the MD prop. If we increase this value to 0.5, you'll notice a significant reduction in foot sliding during the interaction. If we set this value to 1, the sliding will become even more reduced since the turn to stop movement will overtake all of the MD prop interaction movement for the feet. However, this can cause other issues as you can see our actor's hands not being placed properly on the windowsill as a result. Each MD prop's interaction with various actor meshes may require tweaking of this value. Larger items like windows or lamps can have a higher value as they don't need pinpoint accuracy. However, smaller items like a remote and more detailed motions like sitting on a sofa may need to have lower values. Another way that you can optimize your actor's interaction with MD props is by adjusting the blend time parameter. In this case, there is some backwards foot sliding during the interaction with the lamp. This can be refined by decreasing the blend time between the walking motion and the turn to stop movement. To do this, go into data settings once again with your actor selected, and you'll see an interaction parameter in the blend time section which determines the blend time between the walking motion and the turn to stop movement. If we lower this value to 0.5 seconds, you can see that the sliding is immediately reduced significantly. However, if the value is too low, it may lead to a jumpy transition. Again, this value may need to be further refined depending on the specific scenario and MD prop your actor is interacting with. If we select the lamp here, you can see that it is set as an actionable MD prop type with parameters for idle, perform, and interaction blend times. The interaction blend time here is different from that of your actors. Some MD props have dedicated multiple entry motions which are used instead of the aforementioned turn to stop movement. In a case like this, you'll need to adjust this parameter instead of the one in your actor's properties. You can see that our sofa prop is defined as a state switch MD prop type, which means that a whole new list of actions will be unlocked once the state change is complete, in this case from a standing to a seated position. It also has a transition parameter, which controls the amount of time the actor needs to complete this state switch. 
The remote control is a simple portable object MD prop type which has a mixer slash submixer blend time parameter, which is similar but just determines the amount of time needed for your actor to enter into the next mode where he is holding the remote. There are countless interaction scenarios that depend on your actor proportions and proceeding motion, MD prop position and mesh, and entry position. But with a combination of these parameters, you'll be able to refine the interaction results. Icon also includes a number of powerful motion editing tools that you can use after recording your motion director takes to further refine your animated results. Not to mention you can use strategic camera angles if you're in a rush. That's it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.